Hello everyone. Now this is one live case study for one uh, DFA user from uh, Indonesia. So we can check this is one Seagate Rosewood uh, hard drive the recovery case study. We can see the family is AE Rosewood and the user has used the DFL Seagate from repair tool to unlock the firmware. Now we can check the angelist entries. So there are four entries. Actually, uh, let's see what has been done with this patient drive by the user. Now ROM. So the user has backed up the ROM. And here we need to back up the angelist here. So file ID 35, volume 3, and export. So Rosewood AE. So this is the QD, we can set up one folder, as well as select this one, all files, so 35. Now we save this engineist. We can read the engineist by AT mode. So we go to the many open working directory to confirm the internet has been read successfully here so now we can go to the com mode and we go to the defects management initialize id here we need to untick this media catch and keep the first one third one and the sixth one uh, ticked and then click modify Actually, we have done this one. So, uh, the next we need to check the data arrow. Now, let's check what's the current situation with this pension drive. So, in the front, we can see uh, it's not easy to access to this data arrow, it's very slow. Now, we cannot charge this is firmware issue or physical bad sector issue. So we need to edit the LBA value, the starting LBA to test if this part of data error can be accessed a lot. So we click OK. Now we click Start. So we can see that this part has been accessible and it's working quickly. Now we can check the ending part of the LBA. Uh, for example, we can change this one to 9. So this is ending part LBA. Now we click uh, clear the scan record. And now we click start. So that means the whole data arrow is accessible. So that means this drive, the, the firmware issue has been fixed. So now we just can go to the DFL DDP data recovery software and to get the most data back. So there are just some bad sectors in the front part of the hard drive. Now this drive has been fixed. So users can get the most data back from the Seagate ST500LM034.